Hello everyone. Uh, this game was played in 1991. It was played in Tilburg, Netherlands uh, between Nigel Short and Jan Timan. And it features uh, the most amazing uh, King March by Nigel Short. And uh, I believe this is the first game uh, with the Aliehens defense I'm uh, showing on my channel. Uh, but before I show you the game, I do have a request I want to ask of you. As you can see uh, in the quote above the board, uh, my sister is having a baby. It will be a baby boy. So uh, she and her husband asked me if uh, I could help them come up with a name. Uh, but as it turns out, I really suck at uh, naming babies. So I thought maybe, maybe some of you uh, have a nice creative idea uh, for a name. And it doesn't matter, she's from Croatia, but uh, her first uh, daughter has uh, an Indian name. So any name, it doesn't matter where you're from, uh, will be more than welcome. So if you feel like suggesting, uh, please do suggest. So yeah, on to the game. Uh, like I said, this is Jan Timan, uh, uh, this is Nigel Short versus Jan Timan, 1991. Uh, let's see this game. Uh, we have e4, knight to f6, uh, e5, knight to d5, d4. So already we we see the Alekhine's def uh, Alekhine's defense. We have d6, uh, knight to f3, g6, and bishop to c4. Uh, we have knight to b6 now attacking this bishop, and uh, Nigel plays uh, bishop to b3. Uh, but in this uh, position, there is a fun a fun variation. I I sometimes I play this in bullet games, and also sometimes in blitz games. Uh, I sometimes play bishop captures on f7, and after king captures on f7, knight to g5 check. And uh, well, whatever black plays, for example, king to g8, I play e6. And uh, black is better in this position, but it's uh, it's a very fun line to play for white, and uh, especially under low, lower time controls. Uh, it tends uh, uh, to create an interesting game. Uh, but of course, this is a game of classical time format. So after knight to b6, Nigel played uh, b uh, bishop to b3. Uh, we have bishop to g7, uh, queen to e2, knight to c6. Uh, we have castles, castles, and h3, not allowing bishop to g4. Uh, we have a5, threatening a4, and uh, Nigel plays a4 himself. <clears throat> so we have d captures on e5, d captures on e5, and now knight to d4, attacking the queen, the bishop, and also the knight, so Nigel doesn't want to give up this light square bishop. Uh, for example, if he moves the queen, uh, this bishop uh, is uh, going down. Uh, so, of course, he captures knight captures on d4. We have queen captures on d4. And now rook to e1, defending that e5 pawn. So it's a pretty standard position uh, that derives from the Alejen's uh, defense. And, uh, well, this is okay for both players. <clears throat> uh, we have e6, uh, knight to d2, and we have knight to d5. This is a pretty good square for the knight. Also, knight to f4 is ready if uh, Nigel uh, allows it. We have knight to f3. Now bishop is covering this f4 square. Uh, we have queen to c5 and uh, queen to e4. And uh, Nigel's queen is uh, occupying a beautiful central square, the e4 square, and uh, Timon doesn't uh, like this, so he plays queen to b4. He wants to exchange queens. Uh, but we have bishop to c4, uh, Nigel uh, really likes his queen on e4. Uh, we have knight to b6, uh, trying to get rid of that bishop, uh, but Nigel plays b3. He doesn't mind doubling up his pawns if his queen can stay on e4. Uh, so we have knight captures, uh, b captures on c4, and uh, we have rook to e8. So Timon does have a bishop pair now, but uh, this e4 queen is really powerful. Uh, we have rook to d1, uh, queen to c5, and queen to h4. Now uh, you have to see that uh, Nigel is guarding this d8 uh, square twice. He's ready to play rook to d8 if needed. And also bishop to h6 is, uh, well, an idea here. Uh, we have b6, preparing to develop the light square bishop. This will be a very powerful diagonal for this light square bishop. Uh, we have bishop to e3, now with an attack on the queen. Queen to c6, and now bishop to h6. Nigel wants to exchange this uh, dark square bishop. Uh, Timon, of course, do doesn't allow this. He plays bishop to h8. And we have uh, rook to d8. Now, uh, now attacking this rook, and also, well, it's, it's, a very good, it's very good to have your rook on, DA on d8. If you're white uh, so bishop to b7 now uh, notice that uh, this bishop and queen are eyeing this g2 square so this knight can never really move uh, we have rook a to d1 doubling up on the d file and uh, here we have uh, bishop back to g7 uh, we have uh, rook eight a uh, rook eight to d7 and uh, we have rook to f8 now adding protection to this f7 square uh, f7 pawn if it ever gets attacked 
uh, uh, Nigel plays bishop captures on g7, king captures on g7, and rook 1 to d4, uh, preparing this uh, rook to come help uh, with the attack. Uh, but we have rook 8 to e8, uh, we have queen to f6 check, uh, king to g8, and uh, we have h4. Nigel really wants to play h5, so Timon doesn't allow it, of course, he plays h5 himself. And uh, this, is the, <laughs> this is the critical position of the game. Uh, as you can see, well, black doesn't really have a useful move he can play. There is, well, pretty much any move he plays isn't, isn't a good move. He can go for bishop to c8, but uh, this, well, this would result in a draw. Uh, but white, white doesn't have a good move to play either. Uh, for example, uh, there's no way for this rook to ever help with the attack, because this rook would be hanging, the knight can't really move because queen captures on g2 is checkmate. So it's not that easy for white to come up with a plan to continue the attack. Uh, but Nigel finds one, and it's, well, it's brilliant. Uh, Nigel plays king to h2. And uh, I'm pretty sure Timon didn't realize uh, what's the idea behind uh, king to h2. Uh, maybe he thought that Nigel was just uh, trying to give Timon a move, uh, you know, give him a chance to, to blunder or, you know, worsen his position. And, uh, well, if, uh, if Timon uh, realized what Nigel's plan was, he would have played something like uh, bishop to c8. And uh, this, uh, this, would force, this would force white to go for rook to d8. And, uh, well, uh, this would have been an equal position, uh, black could play this. Uh, but as uh, Timon didn't realize the idea behind king to h2, he played uh, rook, to, rook to c8, just a waiting move, and now Nigel played king to g3. And, uh, <clears throat> well, even in this position, uh, well, my engine says that this is a, a completely drawn position, and that white cannot win this. So uh, I am interested, <laughs> if you have an engine, what does your engine think? Uh, but here, uh, Timon realized what was uh, Nigel's idea, and he quickly uh, returned the rook to e8, uh, but now it's too late. Nigel already plays king to f4, and now Timon does play bishop to c8, but it's uh, very much too late for, I for ideas like this. Uh, we have king to g5 by short, and uh, in this position, uh, well, Jan Timon resigned the game, uh, because there is, no defense, uh, there is no defense against king to h6. If, uh, well, if black were to stop this, for example, with king to h7, then uh, this this is losing, rook captures on f7 is here, and, uh, well, this is over. Or, yeah, maybe not even rook captures on f7, maybe queen captures on g6 is even better. So, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely a beautiful idea. For example, uh, king to h8, uh, check here, we have here, king captures, and uh, there is no, no more moves uh, for black. Uh, rook to g4 is coming, and uh, well, if even if f5, then simply queen queen to g7 checkmate. Uh, but it didn't come to this. After king to g5, uh, Jan Timon resigned the game, and uh, well, this beautiful king march uh, game uh, was created. So yeah, uh, this is the game, uh, and yeah, <laughs> if you're ever in a position like this, uh, and uh, your opponent uh, your opponent plays a move like king to h2. Uh, don't don't quickly assume that it's uh, you know just a nonsense move. Uh, maybe he's planning uh, may, maybe he's planning a nice uh, trip for his king. So yeah, uh, yeah that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, John Warner, uh, Trident Games, and uh, Beat Benegar for a contribution to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. And uh, yeah, if any of you do have any suggestion uh, for a baby name. Uh, feel free to <laughs> to put one in the comment section below. So yeah, uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon.